Yeah. All right. So we're going to see the solar evaporation ponds, which are in a neighborhood called Navab Colony. And Navab means prince. It's anything but a princely place. Uh, but it's also the name of the man who owned the land and who sold it to the people who live there. At least that's the story that people tell me. But to, the roads don't go there, so we have to go to a neighborhood next to it called New Adifnaga, where the road stops, and then we have to go on foot through the neighborhood, across the railway tracks to New Novab Colony, and from there we'll see the solar evaporation ponds. This is the Sambhavna Mini Clinic, so the public health education workers come here most mornings, I believe. They used to have a doctor, but uh, they don't have the doctor come anymore. Uh, so they train local people here t in health education, and they've also built this garden where they grow medicinal herbs. They just built this last summer. So she's rolling what are called beauties, which are leaves, and they fill them with tobacco. Uh, something called a, I believe she said a kundi leaf. And she rolls, for each thousand, she gets paid 20 or 25 rupees, which might buy you 10 cups of tea. Um, the equivalent to about 50 cents. Egg dinne, kidne. Giles hai? Achcha, Giles. Or Ward hai? Ward. Peace and Ramadan. So... This, this is a solar evaporation pond that was filled in. So originally they, they built the pit by building an earthen wall around it. So it's not really a pit, it's just contained by this wall. And we're standing on the edge of it. And this pit they filled in with earth. So you can see the, some of the stones they used as fill. But first they, on the, the, gr the bottom part, they covered with a layer of plastic. Well, it, it was originally built with a layer of concrete, and that was supposed to contain the waste, and some other substance uh, underneath that. And of course, it cr promptly cracked and then leaked into the groundwater, but they kept piping it in for decades. Then they stopped, and then they, when they filled this in, they put another layer of plastic over it, and then more fill, gravel and soil. And then on top, this layer of plastic, and then another layer of ground over it. But you can see that as people need land, so they've cut into the side here. And what you see beneath you is the contaminated soil and the layers of plastic sheeting. So it's like, um, oh, uh, Dow Chemical, it's a chemical company, but uh, they also need a geologist to dig into this and see what's going on. It, it's stratified. It's side So this is the Grand Canyon of toxic waste. You can see the stratified layers of plastic sheeting and the soil underneath it. Uh, and he counts as many as four layers of plastic, but I see another one here, which might be a fifth. Um, and in between, who knows what there is. I suppose down here at the bottom is the most contaminated soil. <laughs> what do you notice is that, Brian? Huh? Yeah. Life. Zindagi hai. Ha, eski zindagi. We're just saying it's strange how there's no form of plant life anywhere around here. But some weeds will live in anything, <laughs> like cockroaches. Salman. 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 Or a bachpan se apke tang esa hai. The paanch paanch unche kar. Esa bheda hua tha. Paanch unche kar paanch. Paanch chala ke bata. Chingari trust jante hain. Chingari trust. Jante hain. Some mauna trust. He was born with these, uh, the, uh, this, these handicapped legs, uh, born in this neighborhood. So uh, it would take an epidemiologist to explain how and why he was born that way, but chances are maybe it was caused by the water. In any case, he can receive free physical therapy at Chingadi Trust, but he doesn't know about that.
So I told him to go to Sambhavna Trust, and he can get the information there. At, at uh, Chingadi Trust, he'll get physical therapy uh, for his legs. <coughs> Tell us what we have here, Brian. Well, this is what the solar evaporation ponds look like before they were filled in, in one case, or destroyed in the second case. This is the third pond, and you can see the walls, the earthen walls that were built up, which extend around. And you can see that after the monsoon season, when it rains, it fills with water, so they bring the water buffalo in for bathing or whatever water buffalo do in water. And I, I guess, what would that be, an ibis? or an egret. Some water birds are over there. And what was dumped in here? Well, the toxic waste was dumped in here from the factory when it was in operation. So it, uh, it settled into the ground. Now there's a layer of concrete underneath this, so I guess that would slow down the rate at which it percolates into the groundwater. But since it fills with water every year, the, wa the rainwater is carrying it back down into the... Uh, whatever remains is being carried back down uh, into the aquifer from which the neighborhoods draw their well water. Now then those bu water buffalo are a source of milk. So who knows what's in the milk that people are drinking or that you and I may have drank this morning. <laughs> Over on the horizon is the Union Carbide factory. You can see the one of the remaining buildings and then some pipe that must have been venting smoke or gas up into the atmosphere. But from the facility, which is on the opposite side of a railway line, they piped the toxic waste to this area, uh, which according to today's Hindustan Times was about 20 acres. And they piped it and left it on the ground uh, until there was too much, at which point, uh, I believe it, uh, sometime in the 70s, they built these solar evaporation ponds. And so the pipeline came directly here, carrying carrying the toxic waste in those pipes. Um, and people can remember seeing the pipeline, which crossed the railway line. <laughs> Done. Done. Ha ha, chal da, chal da. Chal. Big day, big day.